is tobacco and lung health. I'm hoping that next year it will be tobacco and organ health because I think tobacco affects so many organs. And I personally know somebody whose organ that was affected was their esophagus and their stomach. So maybe sometimes people may not even realize the damages because they are waiting for their lungs to be affected. The tagline was, don't let tobacco take your breath away. Let our beauty take your breath away, not tobacco. But not with bleaching, by the way. <laughs> Representative of the Honorable Minister, please convey to the Honorable Minister that the program has been a success. We thank him for his remarks. We will continue to work with the tobacco focal person, Dr. Che Farid, to ensure that we achieve our mandate of tobacco control. Honorable Chairman, Chairman of the Select Committee, Honorable Kwabna Nyama, told us that smoking affects all organs. Not every organ, all organs. And affects people, not the people who smoke only, but everyone. He heard the story about his constituency. I'm sure if we go around, we'll find out that it is in every constituency. We thank Parliament for the ratification. So thank you so much. The Honorable Nyama is with us all the way in all our tobacco activities, and we thank him for his presence this morning. It is not often that you get an Honorable Chairman of the Select Committee or an MP to even step into this building, and that shows how important it is to him. So thank you so much, Honorable Chairman. To the tobacco focal person, I'm glad that we now have data from Ghana, because it is something that is lacking. The saying is that knowledge is power. If you don't know how much you are affected, you don't know how to deal with it. So we thank you that we now have data. The data is alarming. And we are hoping that there's going to be more work. We have more work to do, and we are hoping that we are going to do it. And we're going to start education from earlier than age 13. As you can see, the data shows from age 13. I'm sure there are nine-year-olds and eight-year-olds who are already smoking. So the data shows us that the education should start and should start early. The WR, um, the representative in Ghana from the WHO, advocated for stronger policies, and I'm glad Parliament is here at this time. We count on his and the WHO's usual support to ensure that this happens and it happens fast. The CSO threw out, if we had given them one hour, they would have spoken for an hour. <laughs> and he said, we should act and we should act now. And we started acting even before today. That shows that we have that in mind. Nukes. The president of NUCS, this is the first time we've also had them on board, formally. And we are happy that you're on board and look forward to effective collaboration and that you be an inspiration even to, to the youth who are not in school, so that the youth in school will now be educating the youth who are not in school on the dangers of smoking and tobacco use. Someone commended the FDA on Pretoria Health warnings and the effect of it. And the person asked, can we have one on alcohol? That would be another topic for discussion. <laughs> I'd like to con congratulate the head of the Tobacco and Substance of Abuse Department of the Food and Drugs Authority and the staff of her department. They have done an excellent job. I told you that we are rebranded FDA, and this shows that we have indeed rebranded. This year's program is exceptional, and thank you very much for all your work. For the lady who gave the spoken word, it was awesome. I thought we only had spoken word in church. That's the only time I've heard spoken word, but I'm actually amazed that you can use this for spoken word. And I wish we can record it and use it for education in schools, in marketplaces, wherever the youth are, we should use this spoken word. Maybe we'll do the, um, you know, that uh, hip hop version of it. <laughs> that will attract. <laughs> Regional heads, all staff of FDA, I know it wasn't just the Tobacco and Substance of Abuse Department, they all joined in, and the, 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 the work we have to do is year long. So every time we call upon them, I know that we'll go out in the floor. As soon as they lift the ban on noise making, we'll be out there making noise about it. Each of our speakers has given us a different insight into the harms of the use of tobacco and its products. I call on all stakeholders, civil society, students, and especially the media. When we come to you for free airtime, please give it to us. Because as you can see, we have a lot of work to do. So that we can all do our part in ensuring that we see a smooth free Ghana especially in our policies and in our education. 